Well, Jimmy and Matt, I just want to say thanks for coming and, and taking a moment to share your story, what God's been doing in your life. And we've been talking for the last few weeks about our, our desperation to run. And it really comes from this moment that we were, we were thinking about that song where I run out of the grave. And it's, it's, it's this deep desire that I believe we all have for life. And the only way we get life is what we're going to celebrate this weekend, right, on Easter Sunday, is Jesus rose from the dead and, and gave us that same spirit so we can have life. And so through relationship with him, we get life. And, and I just have been so honored to walk with you guys over this last year and a half or so as you guys have come to the church and been a part of our church family. And I think that your story is, is exceptional and it's amazing and wonderful what God's doing in your life and through your life. And so I just thought you could share what, what the, the, that spirit of life has birthed in you and how that's allowed you to, to run with God, to run the race that, that God's called us to run and how it's made a difference in your life and, and in your family. And so just wanted you to share that story with us. Uh. Well, I think it's been an amazing past year. We've met a lot of awesome people coming to this church and even best friends. And um, this church community has been so awesome to us. But I think that it's also more, most importantly helped us with our, our, mar yeah, our yeah. marriage and our relationship. Yeah. And I just, you know, I think we've been here a year now. Mm -hmm. um, the, in the beginning of the year, I was just praying, trying to find a church. and. Um, we found this one and it's been home and it's been amazing for our relationship, our kids. We, we've had troubles in the past and I think just going to church together and we've been basically closer than we've ever been. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I wasn't um, really big on going to church and, and uh, she had told me about Lincoln Christian Life Center and, and uh, you know, able to come to this place and not knowing anybody and everybody was just so um, close and wanted to know everybody else and, and really felt like home to me. I mean, um, it's just real easy to 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 know that God is on your side and know that God has your back when you're a part of a family that that supports you and, and coming with and, our brokenness we knew that we were loved you know obviously by our God but by our friends here now and it's been really nice yeah definitely yeah definitely so and, oh and 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 that has I I know that that's translated to a you know, an, an expression of God moving through your life on, on a regular basis. And what has that looked like? Your interactions with other people, you know, just the interactions on the daily with, you know, with God, you know, being a part of your life maybe before he, you know, he was more, you know, a year ago. What, what does that look like for you guys? I think that, you know, I've always, I've always known God, I've always believed, but I think that coming to church and being more involved with my faith and um, I just think that um, it's taught us how to treat each other better, um, communicate better. Um, our values have totally changed. Um, I know in Jimmy's life it's changed drastically. Yeah. Just giving God the the glory for for stuff that I pull off at work that is just un, un unsound. You shouldn't be pulling stuff like that off that that you can only thank God for that. Yeah. It's like, man, how do you deny something like that? You, you, there's none of that, but you can't. Yeah. 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 Because I, I can't do it. A yeah. lot of things have happened in our life that only God could do. Yeah. I, I mean, they're not big miracles, but you know, the small miracles are just it's, as good. It's, it's and it's been, me. you know, yeah. it's been amazing just to see and, you know, grow in our faith and we're still growing yeah. and we still have a long way, but it's been awesome. awesome. Yeah. 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 Definitely been awesome. yeah. Well, I think it's been awesome too, watching what God's done in your life and just to be a part of that. It's been an honor, like I said, and, and, you know, I, I see God, you know, allowing you guys to, to run really, to become the people that God's, you know, created you to be, you know, uh, you know, Jimmy, you've been helping us lead small groups, you know, uh, and, th and that's happened over the last year. And I mean, you know, and that is a demonstration of me to, to see God move in your life. And I know, Amanda, you've been, you know, helping us with our children's ministry and, and filling in there. And, you know, that's awesome to see you be willing to serve in areas where, 
you know, we need people to step up and, and, and be Jesus to, to little children that need to be Jesus, you know, need people to be Jesus to them. And so it's just incredible to watch what God's doing in your life. And I see that resurrection power in and through your life. And so I just want to say thanks for making yourself available for this moment. And I, I just want to say that I, I just am so, you know, you know, for, for uh, lack of a better phrase or whatever, I'm so proud of you to watch you guys open yourself up for God to move through your life. It's such an encouraging thing to me and I know to other people as well for you to be open. And so I appreciate you sharing. I look forward to this next year of you guys running with God. We can't wait. Yeah, We're super excited. So are we. So are we. Well, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you.